And that's why nobody has ever heard of General Fatty Q Schlubbington. Welcome to the channel where it is time for bayonets and tomahawks, the French and Indian War. That's right. I got this about the same time I got Atlantic Chase. And, well, Atlantic Chase kind of just took over my world. <laughs> and this one got kind of shoved to the side. You know, Atlantic Chase, I was like, World War II, yeah! Royal Navy versus Griggs Marine, yeah! No U-boats, yo! What? <laughs> anyway, but this got the short shrift, which is unfortunate. Because this is a solid solid game and it's a uh, mark rodriguez rodriguez i assume um i think it's his first game and i think he really batted this one out of the park so we're gonna play the first scenario in this when we set up but first the airing of grievances <laughs> mounted map and a two inch box uh, which wouldn't normally be bad, but there's a lot of various tokens in here that you really want to sort. And sort nice and compartmentalized, and so the upshot of it is, is your GMT tray counter ain't going in there. And that's annoying. Now, I mean, ah, it's so weird. If it was Twilight Struggle, not a problem. Because uh, all the counters are the same. And, uh, yeah, no problem there. And let's see, what else we got here? We got the Hunters. No problem. That's all just, uh, there's no mounted map in it. Um, so there's no problem in getting everything in there. And, oh, come on, man. At any cost, Mets. So, well, this one's a little unfair because it's a paper map. And I do prefer mounted maps myself. But look at that, just right in there. And I can even, if I wanted to even go it down even further, I could just, you know, no problem at all if I wanted to sort them out even finer. I don't really need to in that game. But, uh, this. Uh, police called. Cops are coming to rescue. Three inch box, please. There's a mountain map and lots of different counters. Okay, well, that's, that's enough ranting. Uh, let's set this up and we'll get into magic here. Well, after all that complaining about the box, I have to say in fairness that the footprint is actually quite nice on a table. Uh, we'll shoot it vertical style here. I pro it'd probably be better if I did it sideways. It'd be easier to access stuff. But we'll uh, we'll spare your you having to look at stuff sideways. And I'll just I'll just make do. All right, we're ready to start. Seventeen fifty five. One year scenario. That means we'll just um. Whoops, that goes there. We'll just go through here one time, and whoever. It, basically, whoever has their score in the positive, there's no zero, so either the British or the French are winning, and it starts out with the French uh, winning by one. Um, they're the winner. Now, there are two bonuses that we have to f factor in. The French can earn two more points if they can capture by the and hold one of these big round, uh, what we call settled, home settled, uh, settled spaces. Just one, and you'll get a bonus of two points. Meanwhile, the British can earn two uh, points by capturing uh, little uh, spaces with uh, yellow around them. These are the victory point spaces, but he has to capture two of them, to capture and hold. Um, and so that's where the trick comes in. Uh, there's a temptation to, in this early phase, when there's hardly anyone on the board, to just fly over and start grabbing stuff. But the whole point is you got to go through nine rounds of this and hang on to it. So you, you have to be a little careful there and not leave yourself vulnerable. So let's get started. I think I gave you enough background there that we can uh, move on. I'll go through the stages here. Uh, like in the early stage and the first turn before the game actually starts, you're going to draw two off your build-up deck and pick one and discard the other. Whoa, they both stink. Okay, so I'll take the one with the um, the two times and a high initiative. And just and we've got my reserve card. I, I haven't chosen that one yet, but we'll discard this one. And then over in the British, two cards. Uh, ooh, four. Three army moves in a... Wow, I don't even think there's four armies on the... on the board. Yeah, there's three. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's kind of overkill. Um... This one allows me to 
uh, reduce bread. Ah, man, they're both. Well, I think we'll put this in the resist. Oh, don't I want to discard? That might be useful later, but. Mm. Nah, I think I'm going to just discard. This is just not at an opportune time. Although it does have a, well, it wouldn't matter. He, you know, well, uh, uh, secret knowledge I shouldn't have had. Okay, well, anyway, we got our cards here. All right, so that's just the preliminary. And then we move to the first turn and the first action round, AR. And it, in that round, we are going to pick a card and compare it with our reserve card and pick one. Uh, this one has a little more movement. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that as my reserve card and use that. We will pick a Indian card, and that's just one Indian moving. And over here, we'll do the same thing with the British. Uh, I'm going to hang on to this as my reserve card until I actually have more units on the board that I can make full use of that. And this, is, this will be more than adequate for what I'm doing now. So we compare. And the French will have first choice of whether to go first or second. And I want to go first. Uh, whenever the, whenever there's a tie, it's 5-5. Five, five. That's the initiative uh, rolls here, or the initiative uh, value. And when it's a tie, the French uh, get to decide whether to go first or second. And the French, I think, will decide to go first, and we'll show you why. Uh, this is a game of shape matching. So in this case, for an Indian, we have a triangle, and lo and behold, the green triangles are Indians, and with that one, we can activate and move one. And what I'm going to do, because I think the British, with uh, artillery and, and whatnot, may want to strike out for this victory space here called, oh dear, here we go, Shingnetu. Okay, I'm going to butcher every one of these, so... Yeah, if you're going to use names from the period, I'm going to just here and slaughter them. So, take that. Uh, and I will move. Maybe I should move him back. Nah. Him. There. He has a he has movement points of three. He can go for, uh, this is point to point. Uh, one, two, three, or something like that. But right there. And the reason we do that because to dissuade him, the British, from attacking this. And I think that actually, for the moment, will be enough to dissuade him. Uh, you never, this has got a fort under here, and they're both in the fort, or in the space, that so you don't really, there's, uh, unlike Wilderness War, there's no in the fort, uh, really, yeah, I mean, uh, the fort is like a unit in this one, it makes it a lot simpler, yeah, I actually like it qu quite a bit, uh, and you'd never want to attack those forts without artillery, because you could take a big battle to penalty when you don't have them, and so, I think the two in there. Should be enough to dissuade the British from going in. Not necessarily, but uh, uh, we'll take a look here. We've done the Indian card, and now we will use the French card. And like I said, uh, these, the triangles for light units and the square are army uh, movement for brigades. And we only have two brigades, and they're both in Quebec, and these are not even metropolitan grenades. They're, they're Canadiens. And, um, what should we do? All right, I'm still a little bit newbie-ish to strategy here. Um, but I think I'm going to go for something. Just see how it plays out. I want to see what this is realistically like. So I'm going to use one of those triangle shapes on my card to activate a stack of light units. And that can, can include Indians. And we're going to strike out for Carlisle. We're going to move here. Move here. Move here. Now, uh, that would... That is considered an outpost that would actually revert control, I do believe. I'll have to double-check that in a moment. And we'll come here. This will trigger a battle. You don't see any units there, but uh, a settled space like this has militia. So, we don't automatically take that over. Uh, so, we mark that there will be a battle on this first one. And, let's see, what I'm going to do with my other triangle, and when it's triangle square, you have the option of either one, 
I'm going to employ this forced march, which allows... Uh, oh, that's for army movement only. Arg! I didn't think that through. Um, I was going to march these guys right up here and cover the fort so that old George Washington here couldn't take over. But I don't have that ability. So what I think I'm going to do... I think I can get away with just using a... Oh, wait a minute. This guy's okay. Yeah, this guy. You take a path. Only light units can use these little dot things. Everyone else, big units, have to use these highways. Uh, one. That's only two spaces away. Yeah, so we'll just hold them up there. And that is all of the French uh, first movement. And now we're over to the British, and they got to see how they're going to respond to this. Uh, I could throw... Washington into the battle there, along with this brigade. And, you know, I might have to do that. I think uh, it, what will happen is um, we, we might exchange blows here, but with the brigades, it's just becoming a, a matter of rolling flags against each other and winning the battle. So I think I'm going to do that. I, mean, I, I got a... Light and a army move it with those. Okay. He goes in. Uh, he comes down here. He can only move two, by the way. He has two movement points, uh, brigades. Either. One, two. And they're going to join the battle. Let's see if we can't keep them from taking Carlisle. And with that last square, now we got to think about that. Tell you what. Let's. <laughs> I don't know my odds or anything. These might be bad odds. But I'm going to go ahead. And take a run at Chinkatu, Chinectu, Chinectu, I don't know. And start a battle there. Hey, I'll get battles on the first turn. Why not? Why not? We'll see how badly this goes. I get the feeling uh, we're going to lose that one. This one's kind of a toss-up. We're going to see how that goes. Okay, so we've done all our movements. And now it's time to resolve these battles. And... I don't, I don't just actually discard the cards yet, so we'll just keep them there. I don't know why you need to, but anyway. All right, well, we got a battle here. And, shh, bring it in a little bit. And we always resolve top to bottom, left to right on this map. And there's a whole, where is that thing? You, if you ever wonder about which town comes before the next, they got a whole list on the back of the sheet here. So. Now, let's have a battle. Uh, the British are the attackers, and the French are the defenders. So you put the attackers up top, and you put them down here on the zero space, unless... And this is the case, you're attacking a fort, which they are. That is a minus one penalty. And if we had not brought... The British had not brought artillery, that would be minus two. That would be a serious uphill climb. So this is a tough battle for them considering uh, the forces we have. And at this point, we'll just spread them out. We'll kind of spread them out in the order they fire. And let's, they're going to fire in... Is it Indian first or lights first? I think it's lights. And the fort is actually a unit two, and it fires as well. So we'll pair up with that. Okay. Bring in our handy-dandy... Dice boot. Hold on, let's see the letters. All right. So we fire in the order. First the attacker fires, then the defender fire. And it's simultaneous, consider, I guess we'd call it simultaneous fire. You don't actually apply hits until after everyone's done their shooting. When you start with the light unit, which is Gorham, Gor, Gorham light unit there. Trying to, well, he's attacking. And we'll see what happens. And that's a flag. And a flag... Even though he doesn't hit anyone, tactically he's contributing to the battle, and this will move the flag up to zero. We are a tie ball game in this fight. Okay, we go back to here. Next, the brigade fires, and uh, the brigade can't actually hit anything. But again, if we can roll a flag, we're in good shape. Here, move it a little closer. The fortieth and the. 45th and the 47th. 
Give them a volley. A miss. And it's commander reroll, but that's uh, there's no commander here, so that's not going to apply to anything. Uh, finally, our artillery unit. Royal artillery will fire. Whoops. Oh, a B and T, which I don't think is anything. Here, I just clobbered Quebec here. <laughs> I bombed Quebec, carpet bombed Quebec over there. Um, artillery, if there isn't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No. Okay, so here's my advice. Uh, go on Board Game Geek and find this in the file section. Find this uh, battle board uh, or, or resolution. That's another criti a criticism I have of this game a little bit. It's not bad, but um, this player aid that comes with it is a bit chaotic. Um, there's just stuff all over it, and sometimes it doesn't feel like it's <laughs> in the spot you would look for it. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not terrible, but um, for battle, this is just one-stop shopping. And you can just go down here, and we have a fort. Or no, artillery is firing. And when it's a B and T roll, which is uh, what we have here, it will advance. If there's an enemy uh, brigade there, there it, no, there isn't. No, nope. ah, my mistake. My mistake. There is not for the French. Uh, so that is actually going to be end up being a miss. All right. So the French have essentially won because uh, they're tied on the on the flag markers there, and defender wins when that's the case, when it's a tie. But maybe we can do a little damage and make them make them bleed a little bit, make them regret. I mean, they will taunt you a second time. Okay, so the light unit fire. Oh wait, is the light or the Indian first? I think it's the light. It's the light. Yes, never mind. And, and it just yeah, it shows you how good that chart is. It tells you exactly right there. Uh, battle flag moves up. Oh, and so it's one to zero. Uh, the Indian fires. He also advances it. And finally, my fort fires. Now, here's the interesting thing. If I can get a flag on this one, or a hit, this may end up being a route. A flag march. I think it is. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Yes. If you go, if you beat the enemy, wow. British really t took it on that chin this time, even though we didn't actually hit anyone. Uh, we won by three. One, two, three there. And we win by three. Equal to three or So, some very lucky dry rolls. Oh, uh, one unit is eliminated in a route. This, these guys are routed. And priority is one unit has to be eliminated and artillery if possible. And so the rest of you get to run back with a route penalty attached to you. And I'm going to run back to Halifax here. And wow, I wasn't expecting that. All three of my guys managed to roll hits of some kind. And so that was enough. Well, early French victory here. Unfortunately, no victory points for that. <laughs> you should get route should come with a victory point, I think. I don't know, but anyway, that's the end of that battle. Uh, very bloody, we bloodied the British. Okay, so but down here, the French were perpetrating an attack on Carlisle, and so the roles are going to reverse. Uh, defender, oh, we're the attacker, the, the defender. This is not a fortification, so this is going to be uh, they're going to both start at the same position here. Uh, there's no good place for this. I'm going to have to hold the camera here. Okay. Try not to wiggle too much. Um, these guys are defending. These guys are attacking. And there's a little more. You see the little two silhouettes here, or here. That means there's two militia. And let's put them in the order that they fire in. So. So the French do have their work cut out for them a little bit. Um, but let's get this battle a rolling. Okay, we'll fire with our light unit first. Uh, 
Lignery. Lignery? Lignery? I don't know. French? Yeah, I'm not going to even try to pronounce it. Uh, that is a circle square, and he's not a circle square, so that's a miss. Not looking so good here. Uh, next we have Villiers. Villiers? I don't know. Fires. And he misses. This is not going well. Okay, so we have an Indian unit, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. Okay, there's a flag. So we are going to be ahead one in this battle. Haven't hurt anyone, but so be it. But now, we're just get to fire back. And uh, really all they need is a flag or a hit of any kind, and the battle will be theirs. Okay, so George, our old pal George Washington hits. He's got the triangle. There's a triangle unit here. Uh, the priority is when a light unit hits a, it will hit a light unit. So, reduced and a hit. Okay, the British will advance their flag up. One, so technically the battle is already won. Um, um, I guess we can still go for a route. Well, that'd be interesting. Uh, the brigade will roll. He rolls a flag. Uh oh, <laughs> trouble a Bruin. And two militia. We'll roll two dice here. Thankfully, they give you enough dice here. They give you one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Um, very cool embossed symbol dice. Yeah, board game makers, step up your game. Custom dice all the time. All right, here you go. Uh, miss, miss. Okay, so it's not going to be a route, but the British are successful holding off the French. And so Carlisle is safe. Uh, we will have to retreat, and we usually retreat back the way we came. Now there's a whole priority list about where you go and where you come from. Okay, so they'll consolidate there. Militia goes away, and just get, they're just kind of ad hoc. Um, battle is over. And so now we just discard Our cards, and we do supply checks. Where there's uh, in this early stage, there's no no one's in danger of supply. Uh, one other thing, though, is we do have to roll to see if those guys rally. Uh, two ways they can rally. One, the easy way, is to get with a uh, unrouted unit anywhere, and then it immediately comes off. Uh, the other way is right here to roll a flag. Spin, spin, miss. So they're going to stay routed. Okay. All right, so that was the first action round. Uh, a lot going on. Uh, the defenders, it's a defenders uh, have the advantage. And so they've been, uh, both the French and the British were able to repel in tax. And so next time we're going to do action round two and see who can prevail. Anyway, thanks for watching.